Today's winter warmer is going to be vegetarian chili. This is one of my favourite things to eat in the winter because it's spicy, obviously, and so filling and warming and mmm. I will be making this with corn mint. That's just my personal preference. You can make it with pork mint, beef mint. I don't know what different mints there are, but you can make it with anything. So it's really quick, really simple. You can even just lob it all in with a slow cooker if you want to. Let the yumminess commence. <laughs> See, it's so simple. You literally just need whatever mint you've chosen. Mine's corn mint, chili sauce, and rice. And I choose to add an onion in as well. But really, it's just them three ingredients that you need. I've already started my kettle boiling for the rice. So while that's boiling and my electric cook is heating up, I'm going to start by chop chopping the onion. As you know, I suck at chopping. I've chopped the onion now, so while my while my kettle is boiling, I'm gonna get, prepare the rice. I've got one of these little things. I'm not quite sure what you call them. They measure out your rice, so you need one cup per person. Okay, I've just put a tiny bit of oil in the pan and just however much mincing that you'll. How much mincing that you're going to need. I'm going to probably use about half the bag because it's corn mint, so it doesn't really go very far. The good thing about corn mint is that it's really low in fat, so not only is this a good meal, nice and filling and nice and warm, it's also a much healthier than a meat option, so it's just something to think about. So you just want, obviously, you just want to keep stirring it, making sure it's not going to burn. So my kettle's done now, so I'm just going to pour the water into the rice. And then pop that on the heat. I like to fill my rice pan up quite a lot just because it saves having to keep filling it up later. So once your corn mince or your normal mince is sort of sizzling away nicely, you just want to add your onions. I'm going to try my hardest to tell you how you do this with normal with meat as well, but I really couldn't tell you. So just cook your mince for as long as you usually would. So I'm just going to fry that up now so the onions are nice and crispy. So I've got my rice on about medium heat just to make sure that it doesn't overcook before the actual chilli is done. I don't know about anybody else but I absolutely love the sound of things frying. I don't know why. I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic powder because we love garlic. So it's just an option. It's just an option. If you don't want any, you don't have to put it in. But now will be this before you put the sauce in. Is the time to put it in, so all the flavours can fry into all your meats and your corn and your onions and all the juice. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Once your meat is cooked and your corn is starting to go nice and brown. Because then you want to add whatever sauce you've chosen. We've got Uncle Ben's chili con carne medium spice. And this is my favourite bit. Pour it in. Make sure you mix it really well to make sure that the sauce covers everything nicely. I've just filled the jar about halfway up with water, give it a shake to get the last of the sauce. Pour that in. And stir again. You want to turn your cooker down at this point so you can just leave it to sit and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how much you how much that you're making. 
just keep coming in and stirring it, keep an eye on your rice as well to make sure that's not bubbling over. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but this has been sitting now for probably about five minutes. And you can already see how much it's thickening up. We're, we're pretty much cooked now, as you can see, it's lovely and thick now. My rice is cooked. I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil to strain through the to strain the rice to get rid of all the excess. Starch. I'm going to do that off camera because it's got very steamy in the kitchen now so it's just going to steam up my camera lens completely so um, I'm going to go do that now. So I apologise for the steam, it's very steamy, should have seen it before. There you go, lovely vegetarian chilli. And that's all it takes, it's it really is just so quick and so simple. If you do want to make it in the slow cooker, just fry your mince up a little bit before. Just throw all of your ingredients in the slow cooker and leave it for a good few hours and then just cook your rice just before you're ready to eat. I hope that you enjoyed this video and are enjoying this whole winter warmer series. Next Friday is going to be the last one and we're going to be making a dessert. So make sure that you subscribe to see when that goes up because it's the most yummiest dessert ever. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.